how to use the new Microsoft Outlook for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Microsoft Outlook. It has been updated and with the new infrastructure on Microsoft 365, we have Outlook as a more customized tool. Now, Outlook is a tool that oftentimes is usually being used as a secondary emailing tool, but Outlook is still one of the best email tools as well as generally with all the features that Microsoft has. When you use them in conjunction with each other, there can be so many more benefits because when you're present within that individual ecosystem, so when you're in the Microsoft ecosystem, everything can be so much more easier. So to get started with Microsoft Outlook, simply head on over to Microsoft 365. Once you do that, you're going to see on the left the option to access Microsoft Outlook. Now, if you don't see this option, you can just click on apps and then search for Outlook over here. Now we're just going to click on Outlook over here. And once we click on Outlook, a new tab is going to open up. And once our new tab opens up, this is what our Outlook inbox is going to look like. So this is my inbox on Outlook. Now on Outlook, on the top, you have a section for your email. Then after that, you have a section for your calendar. And then you have a section called people. So this allows you to connect with other people and groups as well. And after you go through your group section and your people section, you will have a to-do section. The to-do section allows you to create actionable items that are going to come from your emails. So instead of having a completely different task manager or a notes app, you can do it directly within Outlook as well. Then you have your connection to OneDrive and then you can integrate other applications. So we're going to go back into our inbox. And once we go into our inbox, there are a few simple ways to get started. Firstly, you can click on new email over here to start composing a new email. Type in the address of the person you want to send out the mail to and the person who is also meant to be, you know, included within the mail. And you can add a subject line and then you can start typing the actual content of the email. You can also attach different types of files so you can type in slash to attach any kind of excel or document and you will also see on the top you have formatting options so you can include things like bullets numbering indents and alignments you also have the options to incorporate e-signatures within your email and you have applications like calendly and my templates and my polls these will allow you to include different types of polls and charts. You can even create multiple choice questions or integrate your forms when you're trying to gather customer data or just trying to gather data in general for your organization maybe. You can do that from here as well. After that, within your emailing section, you will see you have loop components as well. So Kanban boards, Team retrospectives, progress trackers, all can be imported from Loop. After that, you have the option to start with a voice note within your email. We can actually go on ahead and connect a microphone to do so. Then after that, you can set up priorities. You can set the item as either high or low priority using these two icons. Then you have the ability to insert pictures, emojis, tables, and other options such as your auto formatting and plain text options. Now on the left, you will find all of your emails that you have received. And with all of your emails, you will see that you're going to have emails from way back when as well. You also will see any of your meetings invitations. So meetings invitations by default already get a email address. And that is going to be over here where you're going to send or receive your confirmations. Other than that, you will also see any type of mail that you have received. And if you read your mail, it's still going to be within the same tab. It's just going to no longer be highlighted and it's going to be present within the same tab. You can even click on other over here to just view all of your mail or you can even click on focused. And then on the top right, you can see the option to only view unread emails, only view flagged emails to me, only view emails that mention you. And you can also have calendar invite emails only being displayed. And you can also sort them by date, form, category, size, importance, and subject. 
and we're going to select all of these. So if we select all of our emails here, we can directly move the focus tab. We can empty the focus tab or mark everything as red. And I'm just going to move everything from the focus tab like so. Now on the left, you will have your option to view your folders, draft, sent items, deleted items, notes, as well as conversation history, as well as any of your favorited inboxes or sent items. Now on the top left, if you want to alter your view, you can go into view on the top and then go into your view settings. In this, you are able to customize the layout on Outlook. So if you want to sort message into focus or other, if you don't want to sort messages, if you want to have emails grouped by conversations and the display that you want to use. This level of customization is not something that you see on a lot of other email providers, namely Gmail. We can even actually display things in a different format that works for you. So if I want to arrange the reading pane where the newest is show each message separately, show deleted items, hide deleted items. Yeah, I'm going to hide deleted items and I want to show the newest on top. Then the reading page can be on the right or on the bottom or hiding the reading page, so on and so forth. Not only can you customize your layout, but you can also Choose customizations within your signature, so you can add your own email signature name. You can also add smart suggestions, attachments, rules, format. You can also go ahead and go into the sweep tab, and this allows you to keep your inbox clean and remove any excess emails that are no longer serving you. Now after that, you also have junk mail. You can filter that out. You have quick steps that you can create as shortcuts within your email address box. You can even sync mail for your calendar events. So you can directly send invite invitations in iCalendar format. And you can also view your POP, IMAP, and SMTP settings. And just like that, you can get started with using Microsoft Outlook. Not only that, but if we go into the to-do section here, we can start adding actionable tasks as we go from our inbox calendar. So if there is any email that we have, we can take the email on the top right and we can show in the immersive reader. We can flag an email. We can do other reply actions. We can also highlight certain elements to, you know, maybe if we want to convert them into a note, we can highlight them. Or we can also reply to them or create a task based on an email. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and make sure to share this video with someone that might need this. And if you have any questions or query about social media platforms, software tools, Microsoft, Google, or any other tool, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.